Hi everyone, Aiden here at the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Sea Sucker Ridge Ready Monkey Bar Roof Rack Kit and seeing how it fits on top of our 2022 Ford Maverick. Now this is going to be one option to get a roof rack on your Maverick. It's definitely not my preferred way to do it, I'll be honest with that right out of the gate. I much prefer a typical roof rack system like you might see from Yakima or Rhino Rack. My personal pick would be the Rhino Rack Kit. It's one that I've got a lot of hands on with for the Maverick. I installed it here and tested it for a number of weeks and I've always used a Rhino Rack roof rack on my own personal vehicle as well. So with that in mind, that would be my recommendation if you're looking for a more permanent solution. Where this one might have a place is a more temporary solution. So if you're not using it very often and you don't always want a roof rack on your vehicle, or maybe this is a rental car, or you're planning on using it on a variety of cars for travel and rental cars, then this could be a solution. Because the idea here is that you've got these vacuum cups on top and they suction cup to your roof. Now the overall fit is fairly solid, but the problem here is that you're relying on the roof to be stable and even just coming to the roof, you can push down on it and move it around a little bit just on your own. So right out of the gate, it's not going to be the most solid thing in the world because with a traditional roof rack system, you're gonna be clamping to the inside of your door jam around these lips, and it's much more solid. You're just never gonna get that same feel with a roof rack like this. But again, for a temporary quicker solution and a quicker install, this could be the way to go. With this, you're gonna get a 150 pound weight capacity, which is pretty impressive, but personally, I maybe wouldn't go all the way up to that 150 pound weight limit just for the sake of safety and peace of mind. This one is going to use the 60 inch long crossbar, so they are pretty long and capable of holding a good amount of stuff just by size. You can also get this in a 48 inch crossbar kit if you prefer the shorter bar length and you don't want it to extend out into where the door is, maybe less risk of hitting your head that way. And then with it, it's going to be really wherever you want it to be. So the crossbar spread is gonna be variable depending on where you have it installed. But the overall height added to your vehicle coming here to the very center is going to be three and three quarters of an inch tall from the top of the roof. So it does add a little bit of height. And obviously if you add accessories on top of that, that's gonna be adding more height. But with the roof rack itself, it is fairly low profile. Now the reason this is the Ridge Ready Kit is the oval shaped suction cups here. Those fit really well between the ridges on the roof of your Maverick, so you can find a good spot for it. And with the screws on the clamps here, you can adjust these cups anywhere along the bar to get a good fit. Now, as for the install process, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. I'll get this one pulled up right now, and you can see it's pretty easy to remove just by pulling up on the lip. And on the other end here, we've got the plungers with the orange indicator right there to let us know that it's not properly secured. So clean off your roof, find a good spot for it. You can adjust your clamps and everything and the suction cups to get them in the right position. And it does take a little bit of effort because the roof on the Maverick isn't super large. There's a good amount of curvature to it, but just put a good amount of downward pressure on it to get that suction cup to start engaging. And then start pressing on the plunger to get it to engage. You might have to move it around a little bit and play with it, make sure that you get a good start to it. But once it starts to grab, that plunger will stop moving as much and you'll see that orange go away, letting us know that it is engaged. So you can see there, the setup process is pretty easy, especially once you have the distances and everything set up. You probably wanna be a little more scientific about it to make sure that all of the bars are running parallel to each other by attaching one, taking some measurements and then attaching the other side. But actually just by eyeballing it here, we've got it perfectly parallel with the other bar. So it's pretty solid. But again, not my favorite method of doing this, but in a pinch for a rental car, something temporary, if you want a roof rack system, you can use this, but I'd consider checking out one of the other options on our site from Rhino Rack, Yakima, or Thuli. Thanks for watching.